Hello everyone and welcome over to race number 12, I mean race number 13 of the NR2003 PMU Cup Series. We're here at Japan for the second round of the International Tour. <clears throat> and oh boy, last race at Canada was absolutely great with Drew Walker taking home the victory. What would be the third race at the track in Canada. So, moving on to Japan. We were expecting some bit of weeb stuff going along. Because, you know, it's Japan. We know fun things happen in Japan. And God knows what will happen here. So, um, we won't be a I won't be able to tell you the point, the current point standings as of yet. Because the standings has not been done. So, whoever is responsible for the point standings, please do so ASAP. Because that will be grateful. So... Let's uh, get on with it, um, as I double check to make sure the schemes are ready. So, there are a couple of new schemes coming in. So, and I've put them in the game. So, I'll just double check. That far that I can remember, yes I have. So, I have done it in the game. So, so anyway, so let's get going with, with Twin Wimotegi in Japan. Great. So, another freeze. What's going on with freezing today? Oh my gosh, it's freezing again and again and again. Okay then. This is stupid. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'll just double check the um, the ticker is okay. The ticker's working. Great, let's get on with it. Cool coffee on pole today. Let's take a look at this. Butters. Oh my, was that his first pole ever? In fact, not only is this the first ever pole, but Nissan's first ever pole here at their home track. This is getting interesting. So we'll come over to Japan and we have our first Nissan pole fitter here. So, and Solomon Sheridan right uh, alongside him in uh, in second place sharing the front row vander howell third place joy maddox fourth place Leon hill fifth place david dixon sixth place james james jameson seventh kenzie simmons eighth place nola hamilton eight, ninth and robin gonzalez tenth dudes or your top 10 starters as we take a look down the order austin leon will start last as usual and a few other drivers honestly not doing good there so Right, it's time for the race. Drivers to your cars. Where is the 62? There is the 62. Right then, let's get going. Oh my gosh, come on, stupid freezing. Okay, okay. This is this is something. I don't know what to say. Well, that skipped the whole of this uh command thingy because of the stupid freeze so anyway let's get going this time as usual so we got 20 seconds before the start of the command so I'll just double check to make sure the disc wall is working fine anyway we're about to go racing in just a moment drivers start your engine here we go, we go. Let's get racing. And what's going on here? What are cars doing? Are they revving up? Yes, they are revving up. Is the Patrick moving? It is moving now. And is everyone going to make it? And hope to God nobody blows up before the start of the race. That is the main priority here. So, so let's see what we got here. Look at that. Butters and Sheridan sharing up the front row. I think Sheridan won a race in Japan once, so this could be his race. Because he you knows his race quite well, and he's currently the highest out of all the drivers who are used to this track. This is obviously, well, Carl Vardar's second outing in Japan, but his first pole here. But, this is the big question. Will he try and convert to a eventual race win? And if he does, his first ever race win. So... This, this is definitely the race we need to see. 
And let's hope. Let's hope that this race will start off on a very good note. The pace track pulls in. And here we go. The, the, the light is about to go green. Here we are. Is everyone rolling up nicely? They're all rolling up nicely. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here at Japan. And Vardis already got an immediate push from, from Van der Howell to try and keep that lead as of at the very start of the race. Oh, and Vardis are now sliding. I think Howell is trying to make a, a move for the lead right before the the start right before the first lap here comes Xander Howell he's immediately gonna try and take that lead but will uh Vardis respond it looks like not so he's gone a bit wide yep he's not gonna make it or does he make it does he make it look at that look at that look at this this could have been a photo finish but sadly not so for Vardis as he crosses the line in the lead Lynn Hill alongside Vardis right now he will try and take over that second place from Vardis but Vardis responds with a good drive down here because he will take the second place so let's go down and see what everyone's up to oh my god they're going so close to each other oh my god what's going on okay we have a caution already so we're gonna find out what's going on so this is this is rare for this is pretty rare we've seen a, a first caution out <laughs> first lap caution so we'll find out what's going to happen what's happened down there so this looks like a, oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and that is that is all that is awful what happened that looks like Sophia Patty is caused all this we'll find out what's happened to Sophia Patty so here we go Sophia Patty oh, oh bang on look Tyrell will go caught down here as well but luckily though I think everyone survived despite that uh little side damage of the nine and uh let's take a look at roberto crown jr oh my god roberto crown jr i don't think he survived that that well look at him i think he got tangled when he was what well, just at the moment the car's about to stop and then bang on or maybe he didn't he suffered a bit of damage on on the floor damage but he's still okay i think he can make it i think he can make it so but that's just a minor caution so okay and what's going on here looks so that the wilson's having a bit of trouble as well trying to get his car back up okay this is a very close shave what's going on here they're going really really close maybe it's, maybe it's the slipstream being too much but who knows anyway Anyway, we're back. Anyway, we're about to go green very, very shortly. Anyway, here we go. We're going green now. And away we go, second time around. And there's going to be some group racing going along, I suppose so. But we'll just keep an eye from the Lowell at the back, unfortunately. But I guess he'll be okay. Who knows? Anyway, here comes Leland Hill for the for second place now. Could he try maybe take a lead as well? He, he's now on car borders now. But is he going to take another... Is he going to take the lead? He doesn't look like he's going to make it at this lap. Yeah, but he's not going to make it. So anyway, we can take a look at the back. Make sure everyone is okay. It looks as though everyone is okay as of for now. But as you see, that was a huge pileup at the start of the race. And here comes Sheridan. Oh my gosh, Sheridan appearing out of nowhere. He will take the lead here at this lap. And Jameson's right there. Jameson, where did he come from? Where did he come from? First, 
he lost the points lead after finishing out of the points last race in Canada. And now he's back there alongside his teammate Lynn Hill in the battle for the lead. Looks like we have a Toyota to Toyota Tomato in a Chevrolet sandwich. Just right there. And Sheridan Kern leading. Lynn Hill second place. Howell third place. Always about to take second place even. And David Dixon joins in on the mix of the of the Toyota Trio. Leland Toyota Trio, as you can see. We have another Leland Toyota. That is, uh, of course, AG Juni over there. And we have another Toyota, but not a Leland Toyota. That is Joy Maddox in the independent uh, Dryden, Dryden Toyota car. The, uh, the Thieving 2 Auto Club winner. Anyway, oh my god, we have we have seen a real battle for the lead. A bit like Daytona with um, basically drivers switching from one, from one place to another in the lead. But this one is a more proper battle. Lots of spaces going along. We see drivers going from one place but coming back up immediately. So, Lean Hill up in the lead. Dixon second place. Third place, um, Jameson. And that is the Toyota 1-2-3 one, one, in their home race. As a manufacturer, but Howell was about to cut them through. He's gonna try and get back up in third place. He goes alongside Jameson and he will take third place. What does Sheridan do? Sheridan, with all the experience, will he get back up? He he's gonna try and do this do as much as he can to get by Jameson. Here comes the right senior. Right senior's coming. So everyone, watch out for right senior because he has, he's basically the defending champion, so, and he is using that to get up towards the front. So watch out for Wright Senior, and he's coming right up, right over there. Here comes Dixon. Dixon w had a heartbreak of winning his first race at Indianapolis, not able to do so after a somewhat pit malfunction, I guess, which led him to what was hoped to be uh, a first race win. Oh, another caution here in 10 laps. What's going on here? We'll find out. It looks as though Roberto Crown Jr. has been victimized in that collision. We'll find out. Oh, it's Nicky Rive on Roberto Crown Jr. Crown Jr.'s day just went from Oh my God, is that... Bouchard, Bouchard, you're almost doing the same thing on Giuliano. Take a look at uh, Bouchard right there. Look at that. Almost doing the same oh. thing. Oh my, did he save it? Oh my gosh, what a save. Yep, the, these guys have made it. They've made it. They've made it. What an incredible save from the two. They were more lucky than Roberto Crown Jr., who obviously got victimized. This is the second time he hit that pit wall in that in that same race. And we're already on a caution for after 10 laps, so two laps. I mean, 10 laps. Anyway, we're back. Okay, we're coming in at the end of lap 15. Well, we're about to go green now. Let's hope we make it a longer run here at Japan. So here we go. And we're off. Dixon currently leading. Leading her right behind him. Howell third. Jameson fourth. Judney fifth. Sheridan sixth. Father seventh. Eighth. 
Royce Senior, ninth, Owen Scott, tenth, Gonzalez. So we better watch out for these cars because this is this is turning into close racing here. And Lee Hill up in the lead right now. Looks as though Japan will definitely be Toyota's day. Or Lee Hill's, well, Lee the Motorsport team's day. So it seems as though lots of the cars are still in the lead lap. Despite some being victimized to some sort of damage. I mean, terribly well. He's trying to get back up. He might have pitted for a bit of he might he might pitted for some uh, some checks to make sure everything's okay and a bit of repair work to make sure that the car is okay. So a bit of touching up or so. Or some patching up, you say? Oh my goodness me. I am bound to say that they're not gonna sub mo I think I not everyone is gonna survive this turn in the next few laps or so, so we gotta watch out for it. There's a new paint scheme there is Riley Hill up over there. Let's take a look over there. Make sure that everyone is still in. Oh my goodness me. I almost going free wide over there. So that is still an alarming rate of how close racing is all about. I'm bound to say, I keep saying there's no, well, not everyone's going to survive. So anyway, we'll go back towards the front because we want to look at matter of the lead. There we go. Three lead motorsports cars up front. There we go. Dixon up front. Lean Hill second place still. Jameson third. Right senior is coming right at you now. So watch out. He might be still in the show. Oh my gosh, another caution again. And now but Strauss suffered the worst of it. And this time, it's Adam Wilson. So Arbiter Strauss will suffer the most of the damage in this race. Well, he certainly hit the wall harder than uh, Roberto Crown Jr. did, so. That's the same time. That's the same part of the track where we see crashes that cause, well, I, that caused the caution. Feeling, uh, I have a feeling a lot more cars are going to hit that wall today. I'm bound to say so. What? Oh my gosh. Here comes another freeze. Why does this keep freezing? This is stupid. Well, anyway, we're coming t towards the halfway part of the race anyway where we go once again Lynn Hill is still leading at the moment Dixon in second place and James in the third place, but watch out for Wright Senior. He's coming right at you. It's all the experience. And, he, and he's using that to make the most out of it today in this race. So will, 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 other, will any of the cars actually survive for a longer run? That is a big question mark. You can see how close racing is at the moment. It looks as though... I'm bound to say, you know, this is uh, this is gonna get really close. It's not gonna get anywhere. It's not gonna get anywhere less close from there. All we can do is sit and wait. So, 
Anyway, well, let's focus on the back for the time being. You can see Alejo and, and Meeks in the last few positions. Alejo making a move and taking over Meeks for that penultimate spot, putting Meeks into last place. And quite uh, historic, well, quite unusually, Obelostros is still within the pack. Let's see how close racing is. We've got to keep an eye on it. Anyway, Lynn Hill currently leading, but Sheridan's coming right there. We've got 22 or well, 23 laps to go and I guess you know we're gonna see some tires starting to 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 weigh now so that will put some of the cars into a less competitiveness hopefully we're not gonna see any more of this aggressive driving down there the cars are now gonna start moving from aggressive setup to conservative setup I think Oh, Kinsey Simmons joining in as well. There is Liam Hill. He's got David Dixon right alongside now. Bit of Daytona style racing to say the least as we see some cars swapping positions. Some in the lead. Going from one place to another. And we can see Gonzalez and Simmons joining in. So this is going to be something to watch. Who is going to win? Right now, I'd say Leland because he's holding back everybody right now. Well, he probably won't. David Dixon, very long. Kenny, no, not quite. I make a move into turn three here. Here comes. I'm gonna make a move. Here comes Xander Howell to the bottom. He's gonna get two and one. He's got the. He's got the bottom of Leland here. He's gonna shoot to the lead. Lap 31, still in a significantly longer run than usual, so we're, we're doing good here. Just thought I'd... Mm, I'll just improve a bit on the track and I for next time, just to separate the cars a little bit. Anyway, Howell now in the lead. Dixon, second place. He's taking that position away from his team, well, his seventh third team in Lynn Hill, and he's going to try and go one over. Oh my gosh, and he does take it. Whoa, I would have loved if this was the last lap. If this was the last lap, that would have been a great run. David Dix goes from third to first. How cool would that be with the photo finish? Anyway, Sheridan is right behind the pack, right behind the attacking three right here. Still doing good. We're now on lap 32, so that's still a good run. Now David Dixon takes off with the lead, but still other car that right behind him. Oh my gosh, free wide. I hate to see this. I hate to see this. Don't let it cause another caution. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look how free wide they've gone. They've gone free wide again and again and again. Look at that. Okay, that was a close shave. I need to keep an eye on this. 
because this is honestly too much right here, so back up front. And Lane Hill's gonna take over. Oh my god, another freeze! How many times is this gonna keep on freezing? Alongside one another, Lane Hill versus David Dixon. But David Dixon pulls away on the outside and he takes that lead. I would imagine we're certainly probably gonna have a photo finish, I think. At the end of the race. We can only hope for. We can only hope so. Jinx it. Here comes Leon Hill. And he's got Howl right behind him. For, for drafting. Oh my gosh. Oh, four cars are now drafting together. Almost. And David Dixon. Uses the outside. Wow. Now that is surprising. Other drivers on the inside. Well, he still keeps that lead. And Lean Hill on the outside, but he's got much less grip. So now, unfortunately, he's going to lose it to Van der Howe and a, a, a long train right behind him. That's not looking good for Lean Hill now. As Howell will take the second place away from him. And Sheridan does the same and does the same goes. Camry Sr. And I think James Jimson might be there as well. And Dex Mizaki might be coming up as well. Dex Mizaki. Um, I don't. I don't think he won Japan yet, but that would be cool for him. But he's uh, he's joining the mix as well. A two-time race winner for Dex Mizaki. We have not seen much of him throughout the series, apart from his two wins. Oh my gosh! Another collision is is Churnside. Churnside gets hit. And looks like she's definitely that's our first retirement of the day. Unfortunately, turn size out. They raised caution for the five car. All right, Alejo basically dumped her on that wall. It was a much harder hit than the others. And she's definitely out. Below the turn side falls victim to the Motegi wall. Well, the wall of the inside wall. Of I need a Japanese name to call that. Really hit it today. Ricardo Kraut Jr. has hit it twice, so there's been four cautions with the cars hitting that exact wall. Well, I'm probably glad that she's okay. Very not okay as if the race, because he's out of the race, obviously, so... That's our another caution of the day. But still, though, that's a longer run. He should have under 10 to go next restart. This is certainly going to be a quick race, and we're go um, and we've just gone past midnight. As of for me, anyway, what, how would the ten? How would the last ten laps shake up? Away we go, hopefully for the final time. Dixon's right there. Sheridan, Howell, Lynn Hill, Wright Senior. Anyone else? Who's going to win? Japan? Ten to go. David Dixon has to hold on for ten laps. Sheridan's coming right there. Sheridan approaching the back bumper of David Dixon here. David Dixon looking for that first career win. Alexander Howell also looking for that first career win as well. Sheridan looking for his 10th. He finally do it. He's his second three times already this season. He's trying to, he's been trying so hard to get that 10th win, but here David Dixon is rocking that outside line and he's not letting anybody pass them nine laps to go. I think he now he's got more draft. Sheridan is gonna try and do one more time. If he can on, on the on this turn. Alleged bit of damage from that collision. From the driver who's unfortunately out, that is Lola Churnside. Anyway, David Dixon still leading. 
this is like a true battle. More laps. Okay, lap 44. Oh, and the number 10 is out. Meeks is out. I think he must have blown up his engine. Unfortunately, a bad day for Meeks and that and his new scheme. Bad I'm staring into the bottom of David Dixon. Got the help of the 66 behind him. Two chef. He's rocking the inside. Let's see if D D Dixon can hold up, hold up on the outside. Not because like, he's going to get passed by both cars. He can drop to the bottom here. Got his teammate right behind him, but Xander Howell's now going for the lead. He's there. Seven more laps. By side. In the back. Entering the back stretch. Owl should clear here and heading into turn three. He's going to clear Cleveland passing David Dixon, his teammate. I don't know if I'd pass him. I'd probably help him, but okay, Leland. Uh, six laps to go. A lot of Toyotas back there. Five laps to go. Points leaders out front. Yeah, five laps to go. Not bad. And Lynn Hill gets past David Dixon, third place. Comes Cam Senior back there for, in fifth, trying to work his way up here. First and second have broken away just a little bit from everybody else. Laps to go, I think. Third and closing back in on the 66. Leland Hill right behind him. Now it's turning to a free car battle for the lead. Another freeze alert. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. Come on. Don't fuck up. Woo! That was screwed. That was screwy. Anyway. Look at that. Look at that. It's now turning to a freeway car. Freeway battle. A freeway battle. Once she comes out, the race is over. Two laps to go. We've got three I laps think. to go. Or maybe it's three laps to go. Three laps to go. Okay. I, I couldn't tell because of the freeze. He's leading more comfortably to 66. He's on for his first career win, but he needs he needs to at least hold away from the, the two veterans behind him. It looks as though that is not going to happen for him to try and block it. Oh my god, that was a close shave. I was getting really, really impatient of holding that position. Sheridan's getting really, really close. He needs to at least get up front. Now it's two to laps to go. Now it's two laps to go. Two laps to go here at this track. And it looks as though Sheridan... Is Lula going to help Sheridan to or is uh, Powell just going to pull away like he is every corner for some reason? Here comes Sheridan. He's going to try and do it again. Back the out of the corner. Dylan Hill is pushing him. Leland Hill is helping the 11, I think. Or no, Leland. We're going to head back into turn three and four for the white flag. Here comes white flag. Sheridan, what's he going to do? What's he going to do this time? Out of run. He kept him out of run for a pass. He might try it here in the turns one and two. If he here can, comes I don't think he, I don't know if he's going to be here able to. Here comes Sheridan. Oh my gosh, he's going to make a move, but Wu Hao will spawn. Wu Hao will spawn. No, he does not respond. Sheridan wants to get clear. Can he get clear? Can he get cl oh clear? Clear of the 66. Looks as though. No, Leland's trying to get past the 66. Sheridan finally Sheridan makes, makes a lap last pass at the 3 and 4. Can Leland get there? Leland, can he get there? Oh my gosh, this might be clear. Here it comes. He's, he's going to try and make it. Oh my Leland god, that's not bottom. enough. Not it's enough. It's not going to happen. Not Solomon enough. Sheridan, 10th career win here at Multegi. That was this close for Lean Hill. He was just about oh, to take flat that. pass too. And a very close one. It was just almost unpredictable. Literally, almost unpredictable the last lap. 
first it was Howell, then it was Sheridan, then it was almost going to be Leland Hill, and it was just about to make that move until then. Sadly, not enough, not enough time. Leland just had a little bit more time if he just couldn't drive it in there as deep as you wanted. Probably, to, so probably the closest Leland race was second, had. but that's still good for Leland. Because remember, Leland does not have a win. But now Sheridan has a win, and that pretty much gets him a spot within the chase as long as he stays inside the top 10. Because there's a lot of guys that's inside the top 20 that have wins that aren't in the top 10. Well, that's going to take up your wild card spot. And Drew Walker most likely has one of those spots along with Kendrick Meeks because they're both outside of the top 10 in points. So those are most likely your two wild card spots. So anybody that has one win inside the top 10. Uh, inside the top 10 are, are going to need to want to stay in the top 10 because of Drew Walker and Kendrick Meeks who have two wins each and they're outside of the top 10. So they pretty much take up your wild card spot pretty much as long as they can stay, stay inside the top 20. Sheridan gets his 10th career win with a last lap pass. It's classic. It's actually, say. I'll say this must be one of the closest finishes we've had since season three Atlanta, which was the only notable photo to finish. At that particular track, it was free wide. Finish at Atlanta. Atlanta, I mean not not Atlanta. Um, uh, Chicago Land. So Chicago Land. I mean, it wasn't oh. really a photo finish, but it was still close. It was a free wide, yeah. But. Still, it was close enough to say the least. Well, no, it wasn't close enough for the photo finish, but it was really, really close. So. Andrew Howell will keep a points lead, not by much, but he will still gain on Jameson, who finishes sixth. Kevin Gonzalez will get a much needed top ten. He needs points right now. Uh, Vodders gets another top 10. He needs that too because he's like 18th of points. For Sheridan, he's been on a roll. He's been climbing up the point standings. Uh, right now, he's in a, like fourth or actually, uh, he's no. Let me, let me check. Is I can't tell you right now, but as for Charlotte Roval, he finished second last race, so he's in fifth, so he got 90 points from the last two races. He's probably going to be up there. So Vander Howell is still your points leader, and he's gaining, literally. This was definitely going to be a breakthrough season for him, even though he has not, he has not yet won a race yet. But if he does, then certainly that will be a bonus for him. <laughs> Finally, carry on. With well, he's done great attention. this season. As long as yeah. Simmons almost got a top 10, that's his teammate. Uh, Alexander Howe's done really great this season. I mean, I don't know what he changed from last season because he did terrible last season, but he's obviously stepping up his game and an ass right now because he's having a great season. He's been really consistent. Uh, Multiple top ten, top fives. He just hasn't been there to get a win. And I'd say today is the closest he's been getting to a win. Oh. He getting one point. That's not good for her. Uh, the I don't finish it. Five points. It's not good either. Uh, where did Meeks finish? Because Meeks, Meeks needs some points. Meeks is out. Oh, Meeks I mentioned blew an out. engine. Meeks blew an engine. Daniel Bouchard didn't get much points, so he's going to continue to fall down the order. Drew Walker, he didn't get much points as well, but he has two wins, so he should be safe as well. Out of Meeks keeps dropping out down in the points, so the chase is looking interesting right now. Well, let's see. Um, so the chase, um, as we see, as 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 I speak, um, let's see. so how many drivers will make the chase? Which I assume would be 16, right? No, oh, that's playoffs. Only 12 drivers. 12 drivers will make, make playoffs. The, the playoffs. Well, not, make, 12 drivers will make the chase. Make the chase. The playoffs so here's how it races. works. If you oh the uh no, this, this this is not the playoffs. This is the chase. Oh, the actual chase, but we're still in the playoffs. So anyway, There's 10 races. Still not. No, the playoffs is different races your driver gets eliminated but in the chase you do 10 races no one gets eliminated it's literally like a mini season a mini sprint to the end of who could be the most consistent in the final 10 races of the top 12 that were select that uh made the chase to 
contend for the championship. That's how it works. Anyway, it's top twelve. The two tops, the two final spots aren't necessarily going to the uh, people that take up those spots because, like I said, Kendrick Nix has two wins. Drew Walker now has two wins. So whoever is in 11th and 12th, even if they have a win, Drew Walker and Kendrick Meeks are going to kick them out of that position and take up those 11th to 12th spots because they have a win. Or they have one more win than the other people do, or two more wins if they don't have any wins. So that makes sense. I explained it all in the point standings. Just scroll up. Anyways, uh, this has been uh, Ryan and Boomer Gonzalez from... Uh, Tegi, and uh, we will see you possibly tomorrow for uh, according to Weeb. Australia, I don't know I what race is tomorrow. Australia. Australia, and then Friday would be A South Africa and Germany. Then, oh, and don't forget Rockingham. I think that's the last race of the international tour. Not to confuse Rockingham, UK, in England. Not in not the old not the old uh, Oval in America. In Rockingham, South Carolina. So keep that in mind. But we'll see you next time, uh, I guess. Tomorrow, perhaps. And then after uh, all these races, I don't know why we're doing them so rapidly, but uh, after all these races, we'll take a break for like a week or two. Hopefully, two. Because I need to do D2. So uh, we'll see. Yep. We'll see you for. Crap, I forgot the race game. We'll Australia. See Australia. Australia. So. Okay. We'll see you guys there. And before I go, take the fast check the fast lap time. It's Rain and Army. Right. Take care everyone then. I shall see you in Australia. And ciao, everyone. <laughs>